Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is a little video that I make. Uh, this is covering two level up events. And I normally don't record these. I've just started doing these videos because um, I saw that people like to see uh, the little rank ups, not just the big ones that I put in my mystery rank up theaters, but what else I do. So as you can see, I have T2 alphas in my overflow. And you can see I have like six days left. That is way too close. I don't like being that close to having those expire. So I'll usually try to use them up in some way. Um, if it's not with a big rank up, it has to be with taking someone to rank four. And I wanna take someone to rank four as a five star only if they are worthy of taking the rank five or rank three if I have them as a six star. So I'll try to go through uh, my champions and choose someone that maybe I don't have as a six star already and maybe take them up. So uh, that's what you see me doing here. I'm trying to decide who I'm going to take up. Now, a little thing about Iron Man Infinity War. I don't have him as a six star and I already took up um, I think it's Night Thrasher to rank four. So because I like to use Iron Man Infinity War with Night Thrasher, uh, and I forgot who else, uh, I, I like to have them about the same level. And it also helps me in the arena because the higher their ranking, the more points they give you in arena. So these days, if I'm not going for a champion, I don't tend to use my rank fours unless I'm just trying to get it done very, very quickly. Then I'll go through my rank fours and try to get it done early. But like right now, I'm not doing that. I'm doing only my maxed out five stars. Uh, Mangog, I think is underrated. Uh, he is actually fun. That special two of his is devastating. So that's why I took him up to rank four. And all of these are using up my T2 alphas. And of course I don't have Mangog as a six star, but whether I take them up to rank five, that's another story. Uh, for me at this point to take them up to rank five, they need to be rank three worthy as a six star um, or just a lot of fun. I will rank up a champion if they're just a lot of fun if I have the resources. Now you see, I have five T5 uh, basics and I don't wanna just use them because those right now are hard to come by for me. Uh, T2 alphas are actually easier to come by than those T5 basics. So I took those two up and now I'm thinking, what else do I wanna do here? All right, so you can see here I claimed because I want to see where I'm at. Okay, so we have four T2 alphas left. And you can see we have about a week uh, to go on them. And like I said, I don't like waiting that long. Do you remember uh, if you were here when the level up event was bugged and we didn't even get one? So I don't want to wait. Okay, now I want to take him up because of his cheese ability. So with Ronan, when he's awakened, the more buffs on the opponent, the better he is. And he can perform what's called the Ronan cheese, where he just stun locks his opponent. If they have like a lot of buffs, his stun lasts so long that he can just keep cycling them. He has a guaranteed stun on his special one and special two, and he can just keep doing that over and over again when they have a lot of buffs. And it doesn't really matter when you do that. The only thing that having him ramped up or ranked up does, it speeds that up. Now, because I run suicides, I don't often get to use the Ronin cheese because of course, spamming the special one is gonna keep giving me recoil damage. So if I don't kill my opponent quickly, I'm just gonna die. It doesn't matter if he's stun locked, I'm gonna kill myself with, uh, the recoil damage. So taking him up to four, 
will speed things up and who knows i might be able to use him and uh finish the opponent off before uh the recoil gets me okay now this girl here i have already taken her up as a five star i believe you guys have seen that already she is awesome she is phenomenal uh i i, I can't say enough good things about her so um as a four star of course i want to take her up because i will use my four stars in the summoner trials and i'll use all of my maxed out four stars now you can see what my level up looks like right now and that's usually where i like it you know somewhere over one hundred and thirty thousand. and uh you'll see where i placed uh later um but I'm trying to remember what I did. Did I take her up in this one? No. Okay, so I only took her to rank four uh, in this one. So now we have a tech advancement. Uh, and this is a new level up. So because I already had the 130 plus, I just left it at that. Don't want to you know, do too much because then I won't have enough to do for the next one. So for this tech advancement, I have a few tech champions I want to take up. But opening up premiums gives you points in the tech advancement. So uh, I decided to make a push, not just for the 1% to 10%, but um, I mean, not just to get the milestones, but to get the 1% to 10%. So opening up all of my uh, premiums, that gives me a nice uh, bunch of points right there. That's why I save those. I will get a lot of ISO, of course, which uh, I have plenty of. And that's why I keep get opening up all these uh, crystals here. And uh, let me see. Next up, did I open up? Yeah. Um, this, I messed up. Okay. Um these do not give points uh, unless mine were bugged, but they don't give points. All right. Um, we got tech and I knew I was going to need a lot of tech ISO. So I wanted to get tech ISO, but these don't give points for the advancement. Regular five star crystals do, but the dual class, I don't know why. Maybe it was bugged, maybe it's an oversight on their part, but they don't give you points. But I still needed to, you know, get more tech ISO because I just recently, if you watched my crystal openings and rank up videos, you know that I just recently ranked three to tech champion and ranked up, you know, several other tech champions. I currently have, I want to say, two two tech champions at rank three right now. And I used up a lot of ISO. So I was running low. And you can see I keep getting um, uh, cosmic after that uh, first tech. And all the while that I'm doing this, I'm saying, okay, you know, I got some good tech, but maybe not enough because I'm going to be opening, I mean, ranking up uh, a bunch of tech champions. And I'm like, oh, stop, stop. No, another cosmic. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough tech ISO to do everything that I want to do. So that was it for those crystals. And, you know, like I said, these crystals. Um, I don't think, were these the duels? I don't remember. But only the regular ones give you points. I, I was so upset when I looked and I saw that I didn't get any points for opening those up for the advancement. So uh, I was I was a little upset and I and I wanted to open the duels because that was my best chance to get, you know, tech um, dupes. All right. So here we go. We got a lot of techs that we can open up, I mean, uh, rank up here. 
and I was thinking, who do I want to take up to the next level? Uh, that was the last one that you saw there that's ranked four. Everyone from Rocket and the last row, those are the only techs that are ranked three right now. So I'm starting to run out of champions to take to rank four. Eventually, I'm going to get to the point where I will have to use T4 class catalysts if I'm going to take up uh, another four star, unless it's, you know, the four star that comes, you know, every other month, uh, every other week. All right. So I took rocket up, you know, and we're, we're getting some points now for that. And, uh, red skull, red skull. Um, I can't remember. Did I do red skull this time? Red skull. Uh, I used to use him. Uh, because he had a little bit of power control. And when I was building up my infinite streak, he helped a little bit uh, with that. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, wanted to get uh, a few more of those tech. There we go. Because uh, I had run out of those. So look at this. 20. And they know there's a tech advancement on. Look at this. That's why I keep showing this to you guys. During tech advancement seems to be the worst time to go for tech. All right, finally. You know, I know it evens out, but I have a feeling that during tech advancement, you have a lower chance early on to get the uh, tech catalysts or tech resources. Uh, just, just me being a, a conspiracy theorist, you know. Um, but anyway, so like I was saying, with... Um, red skull when i'm building up my infinite streak i could let them hit into my block and it would power drain them a little bit and do a little bit of damage so during that time usually like 9 through 12 when they didn't want to fire their specials off before kabam changed the uh ai uh they wouldn't throw their specials and sometimes you would just have to eat a special three but I would rely on champions that had some manner of power control mechanism to them. Uh, Sentinel, just because Sentinel is cool. Uh, I already took up Nimrod, the ultimate Sentinel. Uh, but now we took up this Sentinel here. Quickly running out. Quickly running out of uh, champions to take up. All right. Low in the uh, T4 basics. All right, these offers. And uh, I do still have, let me see. Nope. Didn't have enough uh, in the overflow, I don't think. Uh, and that's where my tech advancement is right now. It would have been higher, except those didn't give me points. None of those um, <clears throat> five-star crystals that I opened gave me any points. Or else I would have had over 130. All right, so now look at what we're going to do. A little special. Boom. I used an awakening gem on Warlock. I have been waiting to do this. Sig stones all into Warlock. Warlock is number six in prestige among the tech class. So he doesn't have horrible prestige, but his awakened ability just gives him a little more damage. And sometimes when I'm fighting, I want that little more damage. Um, I had the five star awaken and I was still tending towards using him, but now is warlock all the way. And look at that. My prestige went up. I was not at 12 before I was at, I think 11, 945 or something like that. So now my prestige is over 12 for the first time. And it's going to keep going up. Uh, Cyber Weekend is coming. And look at that. Look at how much that did. <laughs> Crazy. 181. You'll see where I placed in that one. All right. Now we got another advancement. A mutant advancement. And you can see my level up score is still the same as the last one. So this is still the same level up. 
and you already know what I'm going to do. Yes, Kitty Pride. Now, you see I need um, a mutant, and you know my theory. So now, mutant advancement. Let's hope that I don't have to open up 30 of these to get one mutant uh, class catalyst. Let's hope. Okay? But I definitely want to take Kitty up. I'm glad I did not take her up before. Um, and if I had waited in the previous one, you know, we could have capitalized on it even further. But you never know. All right? So we got science. And uh, we're going to just keep on. I'm not going to pop them because I don't want a ton of them in my overflow because that's what they like to do. And I'll get tons of tech. Okay, another science. I'm not upset about getting science, by the way. Um, I have science champions that I would like to take up. So those will not go to waste. And if they end up in my overflow, that's when I'll rank one of them up. So close. Skip right over that mutant to a tech. And we already took up Warlock, as you saw. So don't need any more tech, but... It is what it is. Actually, I have three. Just thought about it. We've got um, Warlock at rank three, Ghost at rank three, and Ultron at rank three. That's what drained a lot of my tech uh, ISO that I was talking about earlier. So, all right, more tech. Now, I might get another tech. Uh, Nebula, I already have, and her buff looks good. So she may end up being uh, a rank two candidate. Boom, finally. So we didn't have to open too many. We got the mutant that we needed. Fortunately, we only needed one. Now I could have opened up my fragment ones and guaranteed I would have gotten the uh, mutant after opening up enough of them, but it is what it is. There we go. And boom, boom, she is now rank five. If you ask me the question, do I still rank up four stars? Yes, I do. This makes my grind in the summoner trials so much easier. Uh, I don't even have to use my, my rank fours anymore because I have enough rank five. So I just do like four rounds. Uh, doesn't even take me an hour each. So less than four hours and I'm done with summoner trials. So I still rank up four stars. They still help me out. Now I need to get more points because that's not enough to get me, um, you know, the 130 plus that I like. So here we go. And I don't have a lot of mutant uh, SIG stuff as you saw and the server doing its thing there we go it didn't glitch out this time uh unfortunately all right and there we go we're at 66 uh thousand for a mutant advancement okay and uh level up is at uh 81 so we will end up taking up more champs but for the mutant advancement it's got to be mutant or my sig stones or opening crystals. Okay, so you see, I'm just looking to see, do I have any, anybody else? Only mutant I don't have as a four star is that Deadpool. All right. They have him behind a paywall, so I uh, won't be able to get him. All right. Now, remember what I said before? I'm so upset. So these are the dual class crystals. Do you remember what our score was before? Mutant advancement was, I believe, 66,000. All right. So I opened up a bunch, 10 of these, which should get me a bunch of points. And if they were regular four stars, they would have. Look at the mutant advancement. Didn't move. 
they don't count. This is when I discovered that they don't count. Okay. And I felt so sick after that. I'm like, oh my goodness, I would have been done or at least very, very close. So now I have to open up, you know, a bunch of these other miscellaneous crystals, the generic ones, not any dual class ones uh, to get more points. Uh, premium hero crystals, you know that I opened up all of my premiums earlier. So I'm left with these so i'm gonna speed this up a little bit and i'll be right back okay we are back and we now have 140,000 in the mutant advancement i went through and opened up max signature ability crystals and everything to get more three star crystals and four star crystals and we finally managed to get to the uh point where i like to be all right so now we've got to work on that level up portion and i just recently got a she hulk so she hulk might be ranked two candidate okay um she-Hulk might be a rank two candidate. Uh, Captain America Infinity War might be a rank two candidate. Um, trying to think who else I have as a science that's a rank two candidate. Can't remember, but uh, they are definitely in the running. All right, so let's get her uh, leveled up at least. And I did think about it. I have a, uh, one to two generic rank up gem. And I thought about giving it to her. I thought about giving it to, uh, Scarlet Witch, the, uh, sigil version. Um, there's just so many, I wouldn't mind, uh, taking up. See that gem right there. Um, and I do have enough to take her up without doing that. That's why I said, I don't mind getting those, uh, science don't mind at all. Okay. And here we are with, uh, our anti venom that we just got from the arena must grind arena. All right. And we're short, uh, T2 science. I got them crystals. So we'll pop a few of those, get that and continue our uh, leveling up. And then you'll see where we're at uh, in this level up. Um, I didn't make a huge push uh, for this one. All right, there they go. Got 62 of those. I don't remember where I picked those up even. Look at that, one. <laughs> okay, man, they get stingy with those boy somehow they know what you want but anyway so now we can continue um taking up that uh four star anti venom uh i i thought about taking up my spider-man 2099 as well now you'll notice that i do not awaken him i also wait to claim the next anti venom because it'll awaken him um that we get from the arena because if we get a science advancement, I want to be able to use a science awakening gem as well as the sig stones to get some extra points. All right. So took him up to rank three. All right, here we go. And, uh, remember how I did kitty pride. No need to go overboard. We check to see where we're at. Okay, so we're just over the point where I like to be. All right. And let's see. Okay, yeah. So now, I think that was it. Let's see. I don't think I did any more. Oh, yes, I did. 
one last one just to just to pad it that's right and i might regret this when there's a science advancement a skill advancement um but he was the lowest one and so i was like you know what moon knight i choose you maybe he'll get a a level up i mean a a, a rework someday um but that puts him to rank four and that definitely was all i did uh in this one all right so that put me up to 150. so a little bit safer uh and that that level up is the one that i did not push for that i just had a little bit over okay that's the tech advancement remember i told you we had 181,000. we got ranked 41. now i did not get the others i claimed them i think or they expired i'm not sure what happened to them um but i don't have the ranking of that last level up uh or the mutant advancement but i don't think it was very um high i don't think i ranked very high all right so that is going to do it guys thank you all for watching uh if you enjoyed it hit that like button leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day